Record high corn production is proving to be too much of a good thing for a lot of Wisconsin farmers. Well, a good yield obviously sounds like it would mean a very good year. Our Chris Gothner tells us that is not necessarily the case. Chris? Yeah, that's right. Corn prices are very low right now. And while that may be good news for your grocery bill, for example, experts say a lot of Wisconsin farmers are losing out. As Wisconsin farmers reap the yield of a good corn crop, we've had excellent growing conditions. They're finding out that the record high quantities produced. This year we're looking at 240 to 250 bushel the acre. Are making prices very low. UW Madison Ag professor Paul Mitchell says that means corn is costing farmers more to harvest than they'll make by selling it. Most farmers are going to be losing somewhere around 50 cents a bushel on average easily. I do fear that as these prices have come down so much over the last couple of years, that is going to drive out the younger farmers that don't have a lot of equity. Some farmers say a solution could come in the form of trade agreements like the Trans-Pacific Partnership or TPP. I think it would open up uh... Uh, another uh, another market for our uh, for our homegrown products here. Groups like the American Farm Bureau support TPP, saying it would make crops easier to export by reducing tariffs. But both major party presidential candidates oppose TPP. Democrat Hillary Clinton says it doesn't meet her standards of raising wages, creating jobs, or enhancing national security. And Republican Donald Trump says it will devastate manufacturing in Wisconsin and elsewhere. Mitchell says while agriculture relies on exports... Around 12.5% of our corn is exported, so every little bit helps. Deciding on trade deals that could help stabilize corn prices will mean balancing the potential positives with the potential negatives. There's more to the economy than agriculture, and so that's the debate, I think, is where does agriculture fit in relative to the other industries and, um, we care about. Mitchell says prices are expected to stay low for another year yet at least. And Heidi Johnson from the UW Extension, who you heard from in that story, says prices need to be smoothed out in order for farmers to be in a better position to compete. So quite a bit to consider here and no simple answers, it seems. Yeah, a lot of challenges to farmers, whether it's a good year or a bad year. All right, Chris, thank you.